Hey everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. So in this lesson, we are going to talk about how we can run our automation jobs with the help of Grafana. So our step number one will be to create dashboards and panel in Grafana. And then we are going to create an alerting type and that alerting notification is going to be of webhook type. Once you complete step number one, basically we are going to put that webhook detail, which is going to be an API. Now this API can be a load balancer API, or maybe it can be any API, which is having some logic. Uh, which can help you to trigger the automation job. Okay, so for example, let's say in here in this API, you are going to perform some simple logic like if the alert type is of CPU utilization, or maybe if the notification is coming from so and so dashboard, or maybe it is coming from so and so panel, then you should be calling this Ansible automation job, or then you should be calling maybe your custom automation job. So our next step will be basically uh, to defining that and triggering the automation job. Now here I am showing Ansible, but it can be, you can trigger any, any type of automation job. It can be Ansible, or maybe if you are using Chef or Terraform, or maybe using your custom Python based uh, script, you can go ahead and trigger that. Now, once this job is triggered in Ansible automation, there is, uh, there should be some mechanism to tell back to Grafana that, okay, this job has completed successfully. And what is the status of that? So for that one, we are going to move on to our step number three, which is basically of uh, triggering Grafana API. So we are here, we are talking about Grafana API, which we are going to trigger. And in this API, we are going to call annotations. And that annotation is basically going to notify or create some annotation in Grafana. And it is going to look something like this. So here you can see, uh, let's say when available disk space goes down, we want to trigger our job. And once the job is successfully completed, we are going to see the status of that here in the annotation. And also you will see some marker here in the panel. And if you click on the marker also, you'll be able to see the detail like executed cleanup job on Ansible successfully, or basically it can be any annotation which you can define in the, in the API when you are making the call here. So let's go ahead and see this in action. Now here you can see what I have done in Grafana is I've created a panel which is monitoring available disk space. So I have around like 16 GB of disk space available. And then let me go ahead and open this one. And here you can see I have also created some alerting here and which is going to get triggered once the free disk space goes below 10 GB. Okay, so whenever I have less than 10 GB space available, I'm triggering the alert and that alert is basically uh, going to notify to my automation API, which I talked about. And the automation API is going to take the decision whether it needs to call Ansible job or whether it needs to call any custom automation job. So here you can see this is basically the API which I'm running. Uh, now this is the API which I just created in Flask, but it can be any, it can be created in any language. Now this goes on and triggers a job in Ansible. So here you can see we have like Ansible jobs. And for example, this job is of performing cleanup. It is going to go ahead and clean up the file, which is consuming high space. And then once the cleanup is performed, it is also going to notify the job status or basically, yeah, the no uh, job status back to Grafana with the help of annotation. So here you can see in in Ansible, I have created notification and this is basically a webhook where I'm going ahead and calling this annotation API of Grafana and I'm passing some data which is going to tell about the job description, job status, etc. So let's go ahead and see this demonstration working. So here uh, you can see right now the disk space uh, available is around 15, 16 GB. So let's go ahead and create a temporary file, which is going to uh, consume, let's say around 10 GB of space. Here you can see if I do LS, we don't have anything. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, with the help of this command, it is going to basically create a file which is called uh, test file and that is going to be of 10 GB in size. So here you can see file has been created. If I do LS now, you can see test file. If I do LL, you can here see test file is created and it is around 10 GB in size. So now if we go to Grafana, here you can see the threshold has already breached. Now it is going to wait for 30 seconds because in the alert notification, I have put evaluation period of 30 seconds. From this time, it's going to wait for another 30 seconds. And if the threshold is still high, it is going to go on and trigger the notification, which is going to call our webhook API. And that is going to end up calling Ansible AWS job. So right now you can see only job number 155 is running. We are soon going to see job number 156 as well. So here you can see at this point of time, it is showing alerting. It means Grafana has uh, notified and sent the alert and that alert should have been able to call our webhook. Now here you can see uh, we have now in Ansible, we do have job number 156 
and here you can see our job was started here you can see started clean up job on ansible successfully and it started at 21002 and when this job was started it also created an annotation which you can see here uh, this first annotation the first blue line so here you can see this is the time when the automation job started and then we have our next annotation which is saying job executed successfully here also you can see executed cleanup job on ansible successfully now once the cleanup job was successfully executed and then uh, Grafana collected the data again and here you can see our available space is back to normal and we have now more than 10 GB of space available. And if I go ahead and also check on the server uh, where we created the file, here you can see if I do LL again, you can see test file has been removed successfully by our automation job. Now I'm just removing one file but of course you can perform any action in the automation job. You can go ahead probably provision something, maybe auto scale something or perform some cleanup of uh, databases, probably perform some log archival and you can perform those type of things. So I hope the lesson made sense. I wanted to keep it short. I didn't want to go into detail of how I have configured each item because that's gonna like take one hour and I already have a course on Udemy where I'm going to share all the details. So I'll probably give the link of my course in the description. You can go ahead and enroll for that course which is having all the details like seven hour lesson where we are talking a lot about Grafana and it's basically for beginners and then we jump into intermediate and then my aim is to make you advanced level of user in Grafana. So that's all in this lesson guys. See you again in the next lesson.